Hello my dear students. Uh, now we are doing surface areas and volumes and we have studied about the surface areas of cube, cuboids, cone and cylinder, right? Now today I have selected a question in which we are going to find the surface area of the combination of figure. Till now we have done, we have found out the surface areas of individual solid figures, right? So today I have selected a different type of question. Let us uh, go through it. A tent is in the shape of a cylinder surmounted by a conical top, right? If the height and diameter of the cylinder part are 2.1 and 4 meters respectively and slant height of the top is 2.8 meter, find the area of the canvas used for making the tent. Now children, what is this question saying is, the, there is a tent which is exactly of the shape of a cylinder and it is surmounted by a conical top. So two figures, two geometrical figures we are talking about. We are talking about a cylinder and we are talking about a cone. And the dimensions of both the parts, geometrical uh, parts are given to you. For example, what is given? The conical top if the height and diameter of the cylindrical part. So this is your cylindrical part. And what is the height given is height of that part is 2.1 meter so height is 2.1 meter right and the uh, diameter diameter is 4 so this diameter is given as 4 meters diameter of this cylindrical part is given as 4 meter so all of us know then what will be the radius radius will be simply radius will be 2 meters so this we know now next and the slant height of the top now uh, when we are talking about the top it is a cone and for that cone the slant height is given as 2.8 meters this slant height is given as 2.8 meter find the area of the canvas used find the area of the canvas used now to find the total area of canvas children what we have to do we have to find the area of the cylindrical part so when i am talking about area of the cylindrical part which area i am talking about is it the total surface area or is it the curved surface area so we know that when we are talking about this tent cloth we are talking about canvas then i need only the curved surface area and we are not talking about the base right even this part i don't want so only the curved surface area of the cylindrical part I want, right? Next, when I am talking about the conical part, even for that, I need only the curved surface area. So what I have to do, I have to actually find the total area or total area and how I can find it? I can just find out the curved surface area of the cylinder and curved surface area of the cone curved surface area of cylinder and we will add curved surface area of the cone in it. So we can write like that the area of canvas required area of canvas required so again tell me what it will be just now I explained it will be curved surface area of the cylindrical part so first I will write curved surface area of cylindrical part plus curved surface area of the conical part. So curved surface area of conical part plus curved surface area of cylindrical part. Now children, all of you know the formula for curved surface area of a cone. So what is the a formula for CSA? All of you know and that is Pi, R and L. Pi, R, L is the curved surface area where R is the radius of base and L is the slant height, right? Plus, curved surface area of cylindrical part. So, what is the formula for that? All of you know that that is 2 pi, R and H. No? Children, you can say that what about the radius of cone and radius of cylinder? So we can see in the figure, it is the cone is standing on the cylindrical part itself. So radius of the base 
is same so that is why i am using the same value of r right so now can you see see there is there are two methods either you find the pi rl for this means area for this then area for this and you add it or what we can do i can say here that i can take pi r common i can take pi r common so if i take pi r common it will become pi r and in the brackets you will have l from this expression l and here you are left with 2 h because already pi r is outside so it is 2 into h correct next we will substitute the values for that right so pi is 22 by 7 into radius radius of the base we have written it as 2 meters so radius is 2 in brackets l l is the slant height so slant height is 2.8 meter plus 2 into h so what is the value of h height is given as 2.1 meter right now this we need to simplify now i simplify here 2.1 into 2 so that will become 4.2.1 into 2 will give you 4.2 correct and 4.2 plus 2.8 this will give you 7 this will give you 7 so it will become very simple so 22 by 7 multiplied by 2 into 7 and that will the 7 and the 7 will get cancelled so what you are left with 44 now this 44 and the unit will be because we are using meter and this is area so this will be 44 meter square now this is the first part we have found out that what is the area of the canvas first is find the area of the canvas used for making tent right so area of canvas used for making tent is 44 meter square next part of the question also also find the cost of the canvas used for making the tent at the rate of rupees 500 per meter square so For one meter square, I am paying five hundred rupees. So for forty-four meter square, how much I will pay? So for finding area, this total cost, I can do that. The cost of so I can find the cost. by multiplying 44 by 500 so that will give me the total cost so total cost of canvas will be we have 44 multiplied by what is the cost per meter 500 so when you will multiply two zeros 5 fours are 20 5 fours are 20 21 22 so this will be rupees 22000 it will be rupees 22000 i hope this question is clear to you all now chill let us do one more question uh, just i'll read out first a rectangular sheet of paper 40 cm into 20 cm is rolled to form a hollow cylinder of height 40 cm right find the radius of this cylinder so the question is telling there is a sheet of paper of dimensions 40 cm and 22 cm so children i have taken this so accordingly the length should be 40 this side should be 40 and this breadth should be 22 right 40 and 22 is the dimension of the rectangular sheet of the paper and it is given to you correct now this you have to change it into it is rolled now it is rolled it can be rolled like in two ways it can be rolled along the length right you can roll it along the length or you can roll it along the breadth if you roll it along the breadth it is like this right you can see the height is less now if you roll it ar along the length it would be like this the length is more so what it is the question given it is rolled to form a hollow cylinder of height 40 cm so i have to roll this sheet along the length so children if i roll it along the length 
right then it will be of height 40 cm so if i roll it along the length then what would be the circumference of this cylinder form so it we are rolling it around the breadth so breadth would be the circumference right and they are asking what is the radius of the base of this cylinder so i know that now because i know that this circumference is along the is equal to the breadth of the sheet given so i can use the formula what is the formula of the circumference it will be 2 pi r so 2 pi r will be equal to now we have to decide now we have just found out it is equal to 22 right so what we need to find out is the radius so i'll keep r here and shift everything here so 22 divided by 2 into pi now i'll substitute 22 2 what is pi value pi is 22 by 7 so this 22 and this 22 will get cancelled you are left with 7 by 2 and that will give you 3.5 centimeter so radius of the base would be 3.5 centimeter